Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Let's Play Fallout 4. Today we are going to be finally getting back up to the overworld to see just what uh, what's happened while we were down here. So you just step on here, and it's going to ask if we want to change anything. I'm going to say no, I'm finished. Old Red Johnson's ready to roll. Enjoy your return to the surface, and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. <laughs> if I had an option... To avoid the nuclear holocaust, I probably would have picked it. Now, here's our cryogen freezer there. Um, as you can see, we're still level one. Progress is slow after all. <laughs> now, it'll start cranking up once we actually start doing things. Um, you know, collecting rad meat's not much of an experience in this game. Here we are. Boy, it's bright. Oh God. Well, so that's where we used to live. It's, uh, it's seen better days, I think. All the trees are dead. Uh, things, things don't look too good. So here we are at the start of the game, official. And first thing I'm going to do is raid. We're, we're not done collecting yet, guys. <laughs> More empty bottles. Probably not worth too much. Rat away. Silver bowl, crack a bowl. All good stuff. Uh, here's a button to call the elevator up if we need to. We will eventually need to come back. A folder. I don't know what the folders are for. And a wrench. Uh, but if we come when we come back for the cryo later, uh, we might need to hit this button to bring the elevator back. Who knows uh, what shape it'll be in? Uh, there's these yellow boxes you can find stuff in. I always miss these in my initial playthroughs. I'm not getting much here. Rad X, Rad Away toothbrush. Uh, Rad X prevents you from getting radiation or reduces it. Uh, right away, makes it go away. And we'll deal with radiation a little more now that we're on the surface. And things are happening. I don't think there's ever anything in there, but I always check, just out of habit. Okay. So, we go in here. Desk fans are very useful. They got screws and stuff. We got a little, uh... Well, what do they got hiding in here? A little cram. It's not a big deal. Cram helps you eat. Coffee pots. Uh, bottle caps. More coffee cups. I think they're ceramic. A desk. Nothing. An ashtray. File box we can't do anything with. A chair to sit in. Very interesting stuff. Very interesting. Okay, so I'm going to switch it back to third person. So we can get a good look at ourselves here. This is uh, Red Johnson. The character that I made. He's quite buff, but he's looking rather well groomed in his uh, suit here. His, his lab coat. And there's lots and lots of dead people. Uh, yeah, everyone that died in that, and you can collect flowers too, they're good for uh, planning and ingredients and certain things. Um, yeah, pretty much everybody died. Hub flowers, very useful, very useful. Alright, doesn't look like there's any more flowers here. We're just retracing our steps at the in the previous episode. And returning to Sanctuary, where we used, once lived as uh, one big happy family. And yeah, not much. Uh, you can keep following the uh, objective marker here, but you'll notice something moving up here. And it looks like our old buddy Codsworth. Well, who'd have thunk it? As I live and breathe! Oh, it's... it's really you! Codsworth. What happened to Not the world? best shading effect. <laughs> well, sir, well, besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Beck. Where is your better half, by the by? Talk about rubbing salt in a game. They came into the vault. Maybe you saw them, armed, wearing strange outfits. <clears throat> Only Miss Rose's boy running around in his Halloween costume, more than a week early. I swear, the nerve of that woman leaving her brat unsupervised. Ha <laughs> ha, not like this family, sir. You and the missus have always been such a responsible couple. Where is she, by the by? They... They killed her. 
Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, uh, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Codsworth, listen to me carefully. Have you seen him? Have you seen Sean? Why, the, the missus had him last, remember? Oh, perhaps she's gone to the Parker residence to arrange a play date. I'm sure she'll be back with him momentarily. He's gone. God damn it. Someone took him. Someone stole my son. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. 200 years? What? Are you? A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> Nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house! And the car! The car! How do you polish rust? Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Cartworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. Lead the way. Round two serves, sir. Okay, so we're just gonna go through and check a couple houses with Codsworth here. Heading up the block toward a northeastern way here. Codsworth is very capable on his own, but we might as well try to get some shots in if we can. Low flies are pretty hard to hit, though. Oh my, See, nothing but air. Now he's shooting radiation. Good job, Codsworth, man. Here but a few flies. Wait, my senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. As you wish, Codsworth. Yeah, don't worry, we'll get plenty of time to loot this place in a minute. But uh, we're gonna go with Codsworth here first. What's all this? Yeah, you can see that bloat fly in the window. Oh, my. oh, we got one. There you go. Mr. Johnson. He said Mr. Johnson. So I recognize the first name from the second. Come on, Codsworth. I need your help. Where can I go? Well, you could head into the city. Concord is nearby. But the people there are mm, as put together as I am. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. You remember the way? 
just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the red rocket station. I shall remain here and secure the home front. Okay, so he just gave us an objective to head to Concord, past the red rocket station, and investigate to see if anyone has seen Sean. So, of course, we will do that. Um, but first, I'm going to loot the place. So, uh, but before I get too into it here, let's, uh, let's play that hollow tape. It's usually under miscellaneous. We'll be high, honey. Oopsie. <laughs> no, no, no. The finger's away. There we go. Okay. Just say it. Right there. Right there. <laughs> Yay. Hi, honey. Listen. I, I don't think that Sean and I need to tell you how great of a father you are. But we're going to anyway. Isn't that right? You are kind and loving. <laughs> and funny. That's right. And patient. So patient. Patience of a saint, my mom used to say. Look, with Sean and us all being home together, it's been an amazing year. But even so, I know our best days are yet to come. Mm, there'll be changes, I'm sure. Things we need to adjust to. You'll rejoin the civilian workforce, and I'll shake the dust off my law degree. But everything we do, no matter how hard, we do it for our family. Now, say goodbye, Sean. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Come on. <laughs> Bye, honey. We love you. Got it. Okay, so that was the uh, <laughs> holotape from our wife. Uh, don't forget to pick this safe under the crib in this last house that we visited with Codsworth. Uh, that's pretty much all we're going to find in here. Okay, you can also check the mailboxes. Sometimes there's junk in there. Okay, some of these houses are... Yeah, there's no search in that. There might be something, though. Nope. <laughs> Nothing in there. Okay. Here. Nope. All right, so I'm going to continue. You want to make sure you loot all the houses here. Because, uh, in fact, I should have checked behind this other one, too, just in case. I don't think there's anything. But, uh, you know, this is one of the nicer ones. Got a barbecue here. Not much else. Okay. We'll jump back through the hedges here. And, yeah, I'm just going to loot all these houses. And show you guys, every house has something interesting in it. So, uh, we'll go through them all, see what we can find. Okay, yeah, this is an interesting house. Just across from the other one we were at, uh, there's some... There's also a cellar. Cellar right here. But I'm going to go up on top here, following this, uh, climbing up on this... Oh, excuse me, I am uh, no good at platforming in this game. Okay. <laughs> Come on, we need to get it straight. Nope. We need to get it straight. Nope. We, <laughs> we need... Okay. Oh, damn. Hold on, guys. I can do this, I swear. I, I'm, a, I'm an elite gamer. I've been playing for 30 years. I did this in one try the other day. I swear it. Oh, my God. Okay. 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 Made it up. Okay, yeah, there's this duffel bag over here. Whoever lived in this house was a bit of a survivalist. Because there's uh, all kinds of things. Now, there is that uh, cellar, and we're definitely going to check that next. Well, first, we'll go inside and see if there's anything in here. Uh, pick up, get those TV dinner trays. They're made of aluminum, which is very hard to find, and used for making all kinds of stuff. Extinguishers have some stuff in them. Sometimes there's things up on the walls, sometimes they're on the ground, sometimes they're on a shelf. You gotta look all over with these places. Okay. 
Okay, a lot of nothing in here. Overturned chair. And the room. A dresser. A tin can. Tin cans are good. They can also be used to make aluminum. You can turn on all these radios if you want. Listen to some music. Pretty sure it's all public domain stuff. A lot of less players worry about them anyway. Weed whacker. Filing cabinet that's empty. Yeah, there's not going to be a whole lot of stuff. Uh... This is clearly a town. Ooh, a silver fork. Clearly a town that's been raided before. And like I said, the guy living here was a bit of a survivalist. He had that uh, duffel bag on the roof, and also the cellar I pointed out, which we are now going to head into. Root cellar. But yeah, this take, place will take a minute to load. If it was true next gen, it would be all loaded in already. It'd be a smooth transition. Okay, so this is a cellar that I always overlooked playing this game. Uh, let's see, we got stim packs right away. Like I said, we're just going to take all the stuff. Pork and beans, aluminum can, pre-war money. Uh, if it ain't nailed down, we're grabbing it. And do you have to loot like this? Probably not. You could probably get by without it. It might be a bit more work. But that might be the way you want to play it anyway. Here we got some wine. And, uh, this is always good. It actually does increase your strength and charisma a little bit, so it does have a practical use. 45 millimeter round. And, uh, yeah, like I said, make sure you always check these red tool cases. They usually have something that can be broken down into, uh, and there's, yeah, three gold bars here, which is also good. Tin can, more gold. And there's a bed. You can technically sleep on the bed if you wanted to. Trade magazine. But uh, we're going to sleep in our own place, probably. Uh, let's see. Won't be able to pick this. Can't open that up. So we'll just grab all the things. Yeah, that's the mattress. Okay, another can. Some cram. Some radix. Another tin can, aluminum can. Oh. More cans. Okay, okay, okay. I think I grabbed all that there is to grab. So this is an easy place to overlook. Just make sure you get it. You know, don't uh, skip it like I always did. Um, you could technically hide out here. Like I said, the bed works. So you could consider this a base if you wanted to. And nobody else. Uh, eventually people will come to this place and make a settlement out of it. But they will never use that cellar mattress, so you can always think of that as your own if you really want to. Okay, so there's that. That's uh, just the beginning here. We're just getting started. You know, we're just getting started. Here's the yellow house. What's in the yellow house? We've already done probably the most interesting one. A shopping basket. A radio that I didn't realize was a radio when I clicked it. we got dog bowls. You got the uh, toaster, very nice. Anything in here? Empty bottle. I'm not empty, a new Coca Cola. Some pork and beans. Okay. Got this. I'm also not worried about the video getting claimed because it's not monetized, so. I don't like to monetize my videos. I don't think you should guys, you know, always check the mirrors. Sometimes they got goodies. I don't think you guys should have to watch commercials to watch some bozo like me play video games, you know? That seems a little messed up. Oh, blowfly. This was one of the places we checked, huh? Okay, now the bathroom opens right up into here. Thanks to rot decay. We got another uh, safe. So we'll pick this. Okay, not that way. Not. Oh, I broke a bobby pin. I broke my only bobby pin. Son of a gun. We'll have to come back here later. I had no idea that was my only bobby pin. Kinda. Take the plastic pumpkin. We'll plate it later. A greaser jacket and jeans. Okay. We found some interesting clothing. You can always pick what you want from the clothing uh, for apparel. Oh God, I have to remember this house now. Okay, the yellow one near the circle. Next to the collapsed yellow one. It's actually right next to ours. Yeah, this is ours. You can see Codsworth there. Uh, yeah, we'll do this one next. Oh, I forgot to check around back here. This yellow one. Sometimes there's things, sometimes like piled on the cars, and uh, 
Sometimes there's interesting things around back here. It's got nothing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Back to returning to our house. I already checked that. There's nothing in there. Other than a car. Well, you did the best you could with it, Codsworth. I don't blame you. Anything in the back? A couple broken chairs, a broken fence, a down tree, and uh, goes back to the river here. Eventually, we're going to be heading over there's a ways or so, but we're a ways off of that now. There is an enemy that I want to take care of because he is the enemy. Oh, yes, sir. Lance here, Codsworth, doing a good job so far, as best he can. I'm going to loot my own house here because, hey, it's all my stuff anyway. Uh, what do we got here? What do we got here? A lamp. Of course, none of this, the TV doesn't work. You can get power restored, and I think you can even turn on the TV, but I don't think there's any programs on it. Uh, here's our Grognak the Barbarian. That uh, permanently increases our melee damage, I think. Yes. Critical hit causes more damage. So it's worth it to find those around. Here's a globe. It's got screws in it. It's worth getting. Here we've got an empty milk bottle. Somebody already probably drank our milk. A bread box, pepper, salt, pot and lid. Pretty typical stuff. All right. All right, all right, all right. Now here we got, uh, this is where our laundry room was. There's nothing in here. Uh, there's a Mr. Handy fuel. That'll come in handy. That's gasoline. Oh, bobby pins. Great. I can run back next door. Nothing in here. Here's our, our bathroom. This is where we created our character. Looking right in this mirror here. Good times. Good times. Hard to believe it was just the last video. We got some nice pictures up in here. Kept the toaster in the dresser. That's a little weird. I don't think that was there when I left. And of course, the most important room of all, Sean's room. I'm coming, buddy. We're coming for you, Sean, oh boy. I'm going to take all your knickknacks and toys and boxes because, uh, I don't know why. Your lamps, you're not going to need them. Wherever you are, toy car, baby rattle. And this is important here. You're special. This lets us put a point in something. And I am going to say intelligence. I like to be uh, a tinker, tinker, tailor, soldier, sailor. Uh, get gun nut perks and whatnot. And that does it for our place. So, uh, yeah, kind of sobering, kind of uh, disappointing. Another toaster on the yard. Um, I'm going to return back to this place because I have bobby pins and this safe has my name on it in the bedroom. Give me that safe. Your things are not safe. It's in the office over here, this other bedroom. Okay. Here we go. Almost. Almost. We just had to move it the slightest little hair. Sweet. Okay, another gun, more ammo, hairbrush, medics, money, radix, right away. Okay, all good stuff. I'm glad I came back for that. Did I loot that blowfly? I did not. And he had bottle caps. Alright. Back to where we were. I'm going to head across the street from our house. This is the uh, place with all the tools that we can use. There is a uh, power armor station here. There is a armor workbench there. There is a weapon workbench here. Along with a whole bunch of stuff. That's a can of oil down there. More stuff. Now basically we're going to loot this whole place, shovel, and then we're going to come back, and I can even activate this now. Just by searching it I've activated it and we are now in, uh, what would you call it, the um, settlement builder mode. So you can actually build and customize your settlements with this, but I'm just going to exit out of it for now. We can also scrap everything else around us. We can also transfer items here. It uh, automatically can store all junk by hitting triangle here. And that keeps it in there so we're not carrying any of that junk anymore. Which will make for easier crafting. 
And I'm pretty sure it transfers to other places, but I'm not positive on that. I'm not positive. Um, used oil can. I'll have to test that soon. Nothing here, nothing here, nothing up there. Okay. Nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. But otherwise, not a lot of stuff in here. Hope I'm not overlooking anything. Sorry if this is boring, guys. If it's too boring, I'll fast forward it for you. Okay, bobby pins, radix. Yeah, you get lots of bobby pins in here. I shouldn't have any more of that trouble. Here we got a cooking pot, a sea captain's hat. That's actually kind of cool. I mean, it's stupid, but it's cool. I like it. Call me crazy. All right. Nothing else. That's the bathroom. I already looted that. Okay, so this place is looted. So it's an interesting place, but it doesn't have a whole lot going on with it at the moment. Not anything in the mailbox? Nope. Uh, let's see. Next house. Now we're getting into territory that we did not clear with Cod uh, Codsworth here. Silver tablespoon in the mailbox. So we'll have to be a little more careful around here. Uh, I'm going to keep my baton equipped. Uh, here we have a suitcase. We got more Bobby pin. Army fatigues. Excellent. Army fatigues are awesome. I love army fatigues. Okay. Uh, what else we got in here? Another ham radio. There's like a radio in every house. You can't grab that lamp. It's an old lamp. Nope. I mean, if light bulbs are useful for something, you would think lamps would be too. Oh, there's some stuff in here. A tin can. That's good. Oh, Coca Cola bottle. Not as useful. And we did empty out all of our junk that we had already accumulated, so we're not even going to have to slow down here. We can sit on a stool for a spell. Got a cap stash. Bottle caps are the form, main form of currency in post apocalyptic Fallout world. Um, so the more you get, the better. Fan, very useful. Nothing in the desk, nothing in the suitcase. Military grade duct tape. Okay, that's more adhesive for us. Alrighty. Nothing in here. Nope, empty bathroom. Okay. What about, uh, let's see, we already checked that. Uh, anything in here? Nope. That's anything on the ground here? Nope. Anything out back? Let's see, we got a broken barbecue. Another dog bowl. Okay, you might want to keep track of dog houses, who has them, who doesn't, because uh, there is a dog partner in the game, and uh, where he ends up is usually where, um, you know, uh, wherever the dog house is. Okay, so we explored that house. We did not explore this one yet. Check around the side. Nothing in the cabinets. Okay, nothing on the ground. Something in here, a screwdriver. Okay. Heading around back. Uh, this is a nice, interesting little background. Backyard. Now this place has a dog house. So this is one of the houses you'll want to check for that dog head. Uh, if you ever release him and send him here. He'll just hang out by the dog house. Okay. You can always deconstruct that and put that in a different house if you want to. And there is our Brad Roach friend. Where there's one, there's usually more. But they still go down pretty easily. In comparison to some of the things we'll be encountering later. Okay. Okay. They didn't even hurt us that time. Didn't get the chance. Didn't get the chance. Used oil can. That'll be good for some oil. Okay, here we got another suitcase. It's locked, so it's bound to have interesting stuff in it. Oh, oh, broke. But we did, uh... Yep. Sometimes you just need a little nudge. Checkered shirt and slacks. So it's a clean outfit for us to wear. Now, the, the clean outfits that you'll find usually in places like this are useful because they actually give you a charisma boost. So they can be useful in bartering as well as, uh conversations people are just more comfortable when you're wearing that okay let's see half an hour in we've explored most of the houses here um, da, 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 da. and uh, 
Looks like a storm's coming. That'll be fun. Another destroyed house. Uh, not destroyed house. Like I said, be careful of uh, rad roaches. No signs of any just yet. A lamp pole that we can't collect. It's too big, I guess. I mean, it isn't the kind of thing. Here we go, a kitchen scale. That'll have some screws and stuff in it. Okay, nothing in the oven. Nothing in the oven. Nothing in the washer. Another chair. Ooh, a pistol in the shower. Okay, and yeah, this place has a computer. This is a. Uh, this was actually a drug dealer's house before the war, I believe. Sorry, I was trying to put that away. Uh, you can access this terminal, uh, hack into it, and it'll tell you about uh, some of the local neighbors and uh, gives you some interesting background info. Uh, when it comes to opening the safe, make sure you disarm this uh, makeshift bomb first. Okay? And then you can. This way. Oh, no, nope, too far. Good, give it. There we go. Yes. 38 millimeter rounds, hairbrush, pipe pistol, pre war money, and some shotgun shells. I don't think we've gotten a shotgun. Uh, let's see. Research tech tube. More goodies. So, yeah, this guy used to sell drugs, and uh, you can find quite a few. There's a bowler hat. That's actually kind of nice. Like the bowler hats. Take the medics. Can you take that? That's not a fire extinguisher. That's a propane tank. And we should be able to harvest for goodies, but for some reason we can't. Yeah, some kind of storm kicking up here. Nothing in the mail. Anything on the back or on the sides here. Now this guy had a whole lot of nothing. Oh yeah, he's got a lab. You can move this chemistry station if you want to. I use chemistry station to make chems, obviously. Uh, things like radix and stimulants and whatnot. So it is pretty useful. You can make some interesting stuff there. That's this yellow house here. That's Hawthorne's house. Okay. And here we have uh, our last two places. And I'm heading this way because there is a... Rad Roach here. Okay. We got him. Uh, just so he doesn't bug me later. This mailbox has been knocked over. Now this is a cooking station. You can, as you guess, cook food there. So for instance, all these Rad Roach meats we've been collecting. We can actually cook them. And make something that we can eat that doesn't actually give us uh, radiation. So here we go, duct tape is good for adhesive, and we got some other scrap there. A fuse is quite useful. Around back, we don't appear to have much. Another dog out, so this is another place where the dog can show up. If you want, uh, you can leave this one and destroy the other one, or destroy the other one and leave this one, so you know he's going to be at the one. <laughs> you know which one he'll be at, because there's only one. Uh, it's up to you. I'm going to go into this house now, and I'm going to go in armed. Because uh, while I did kill the rad roaches, there could be more. There's another tray. That's good for uh, aluminum. Another tin can. Also good for aluminum. And uh, aluminum, adhesive, screws. These are the, the, the bread of life for any sort of crafting or modifications you might want to make in this game. Uh, very useful. Alrighty. A light switch. Fire extinguisher. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be anything else. Okay, bobby pins. And, uh... This house is pretty well lit. Got some posters in here. Free war money. Oh, and that's it. Okay. Not much here, then, either. Alright. So that does it for pretty much the whole place. The last thing I'm going to look is we are going to check the bridge here. I'm going to check in here. Fragmentation grenades. Okay, and it's already telling me, uh... Place, how to place mines. <laughs> well, if you go to the edge of the bridge here, you'll find a raider who's down. Uh, he always has the drifter outfit and some stuff. 
And a uh, dog is probably what killed him here, so you get some mongrel meat. Okay, and now it's foggy and potentially raining. Okay, um, hold up here. I am going to... We need inventory, we need, uh... Needs a better. Now the, the drifter outfit's probably the best thing we got defensively speaking. Checkered shirt and slacks gives us some charisma, but is not protective at all. We've got a bowler hat, which uh, increases endurance, strangely enough. Army fatigues, which increase strength and agility. But you see, uh, they all have a uh, greaser jacket, and offers a little bit of defense, but not much. Increases luck. Uh, so everything has its purpose. The sea captain hat, endurance too. Uh, the vault jumpsuit, lab coat, wedding ring, okay. So I am going to stick with what I got, and I am going to put something on my head. Yeah, I'll go with the bowler hat. Okay, and uh, here we are, my with my hat and my outfit. Uh, my weapons, I didn't pay much attention to. We sold the 10 minute libido pistol. Now the you can equip the grenade here. Uh, basically, it goes in automatically. Um, but you can also favorite it by putting R1. I usually put it up. And the pipe pistol. We can also... Uh, it's not nearly as good as the... As you can see, 13 damage. 10 millimeter does uh, 18 damage. So it's not nearly as good, but you can uh, equip it anyways. The, the pipe pistol is very easy to customize. It's uh, your kind of... Like a fake gun that you just built from nothing. Um, yeah, you know. You know how it is. Um, what I'm going to do... Is I am going to... Which direction am I looking here? Let me check my map. Yes, I'm facing the right way. Because that's my house. Well, the next one over is mine. Yeah, you can see the flame from Codsworth. Um, we are going to do something a bit dangerous. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to see about equipping ourselves with some stuff here. I'm going to use some chemicals. I'm going to use some uh, medics. Because that will give me some damage resistance. Um, some radix for the radiation resistance. And that's the best I got. I wish I had some Psycho. Oh yes, and last but not least, sorry about that, I will make a quick save. Because, uh, we're going to head back across the bridge here, and then we're going to curve it to the right. And we're going to kind of follow the shore. Um, eventually we are going to come across some bloat flies, most likely. You want to try to stay out of the water. And we should see to the north, yes, after this. Oh, muck fruit. I'll collect some muck fruit. That's all good. I think you need a lot of muck fruit or something to plant muck fruit. I don't know. But yeah, after this little, like this large rock here, where you almost have to get in the water to get around it, you can see the dots. Oh boy. Like I said, one bullet each. Oh, jeez. I didn't even know I had that equipped. Let's say 33. Let's take two shots. Oh, man. See, that's why we got the damage resistance. Okay. And I think we can come around here. Yeah, you can see that glow up there. That's him. And here's his dog. I'm just going to hit him with everything. Good 
goodness gracious. Where'd the other one go? He's around here somewhere. Oh my. Sorry, I, just, I don't like to spare anybody. They might have useful goodies. Shotgun shells, stim pack, double barrel shotgun, Raider left leg, Raider leathers. Okay, now where was that dog that I shot? There's a bit further down the way here. Not this far down though, I think. Yeah, over here. Where's that damn dog? There's the gear. Yeah, we came up here. Yeah, it was he was up here somewhere. Here's some more uh, flowers I can collect. Should be right around here. And the dog was one of the reasons I came here. That looks like flowers, but they're not. So to not find the dog is a little, a little irritating. I mean, I know it's dark out. Cause it's getting late. Oh, it might be up a ways further. Yep, there it is. Bottle cup, mongrel meat, and a bandana, green bandana. That's uh, part of the reason I wanted to come here. Like I said, we're gonna get a dog, and they can wear bandanas. So uh, this girl's sleeping. She has uh, stuff we can take. I'm going to take it all. Leave her naked there. And I'm going to take the Psycho. Psycho is mine now. And take some... There's some more Psycho. Some uh, Rad Roach meat. And yeah. I'll leave this one alive though. Oh no, is she a corpse? She is a corpse. She has a straw pillow though. I'll take that. <laughs> okay, so that's that then. Uh, we're basically just going to head uh, south and back across the river a ways. Is there anything else here to collect? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, we want to head a little, a little uh, westerly as well, because we're going to look for the bridge. You don't want to go in the water if you don't have to. There's weird stuffs in there, and the leeches that'll get stuck to you. And I can't figure out what to do with the leeches, so, you know. Yeah, I might want to avoid those. Ridge should be coming up soon. There it is. Okay. So that is pretty much uh, this part of the nut. What are we up to now? Okay, it's been about 40 minutes, so uh, we'll call it a day there. And in the next episode, which will be the last of my initial upload series, we'll, uh, we'll move on to the Red Rocket. But for now, I'm going to go back to my house and get some sleep because it's late. It's been a day. First, let's drop off all of the, uh, the junk we've collected, along with some of the other things. Uh, you know, make sure you drop off your... Uh, any extra weapons like we got we're up to what four 10 millimeter pistols we only need one <laughs> four pipe pistols we only need one only one security baton we got a double barrel shotgun guys it's pretty nice pretty nice indeed and we'll also drop off any clothes that we have no intention of wearing uh, gunner's green bandana <laughs> let's see laundered long wear I can't imagine wanting to wear that Raider leather should be left leg. Uh, I'm not going to wear Raider parts. Sea Captain's hat. That's pretty cool. Maybe I will use that. Um, undershirt and jeans. I guess I'll keep that. I'll keep the vault stuff. I'll keep the wedding ring. Um, yeah, that pretty much was all of it. Alright. So we got ourselves a shotgun. Uh, which is great. 
and uh, so what I'm gonna do go back to first person here you can hold the uh, touchpad down and you'll go back into this mode and using this we can scrap the old bed for some extra wood we'll scrap that carpet for some cloth and what we're gonna do is build furniture beds and uh, this is my bed so I might as well just make this one here and there we go so if we exit back out of this mode we now have a bed we can sleep it's uh, 10 o'clock at night I'm gonna sleep until morning uh, so I'm gonna cancel that for now so I'll see you guys in the morning. Until then, take it easy.